Welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today is a very special video because we are introducing the new set Love You Bunches, which is an exclusive set for EllenHudson.com. And this set is so fun and so cute and goes along with Ellen's 10 year anniversary United We Flourish theme for this year. So we're so excited about this set. So let's go ahead and check it out. So first up, we have three different styles of monkeys and they are so cute. So we have these two little hanging monkeys and then we have the standing monkey. We also have this great little vine that the monkeys can hang off of and a little vine piece you can add extra to that. And then we have three different styles of bananas for the monkeys to hold. We have a cute open heart so you can make the monkeys be in love. And then we also have some leaves that you can add to that vine, just like that little extra vine piece, and both open and in solid. This set has some super cute sentiments, and it starts off with swinging by to say, and then there's all these phrases that you can add on after that. And so you have, hello, friend, let's hang out, thanks, bunches, I find you very appealing, we've got lots of fun puns on this one, love you, bunches, of course. And then we have let's hang, so kind of a different version and a different font of that sentiment. And we also have for being my friend, which you can add to the end of thanks bunches. And then of course, swing by soon too. So here I'm gonna be using my Copic markers to add some color to these monkeys. And so it's really fun because you get to play with your brown markers in all your different shades to kind of create different styles and different shades of these cute little monkeys. So I decided to pick out a bunch of my different kind of three colored browns to play around with and practice coloring. And so I'm adding shading all around where things kind of layer over each other. So the back of the monkey's head over his body, at the legs, at the curve of the tail. And then here you can see See how I'm switching to different shades of brown and it's just really fun to do and so I'm adding my light color down first then here I'm adding my medium then my darkest color all around those curves of the stamp where there would be a little shadow blending the dark out with the medium and then blending that out with my light. And you can see how it just adds so much dimension to the monkey. Now here I'm touching my light marker to my medium marker to create a third shade to help me blend those two markers together. And then of course I'm gonna give him some cute little rosy cheeks. Now I really liked the color of the monkey with those kind of E20 markers, so I'm using them again for my little standing monkey here. Once again, adding shading kind of where there's curves or where things overlap, I kind of let the stamp tell me where my darkest areas should be, and I'm following my same pattern of now me dark to medium and then medium to light, filling in all of those white spaces, and I just love how cute he is, he's just so fun. And then next up, I'll add some color to his face. In this case, putting down my light marker all around those outside curves, then my darkest, and then blending that out into the middle. And I think it really just adds a lot. And then I'm adding a little extra shading just to give him some more dimension. And then of course, some rosy cheeks. Now I really love these yellows for the bananas. And just adding that little bit of that orange kind of gives this like really nice shadow and makes them look really dynamic and look really good with the monkeys. So I love that there's so many different styles of bananas that they can hold, it's just so cute. I just love these so much. Now next up, we're gonna color in the vines. And my favorite green I think ever is that YG67. I think it's so pretty. And so I'm just following my same pattern of dark and light again, blending the light into the middle, into all of those white spaces. And then I kinda wanted to add a little extra darkness. And so I brought in those olive markers there. And I'm just adding those dark areas kinda where the stamps overlap just to give it a little extra dimension. I'm gonna make, add a little pink to my heart and then I can take all my coordinating dies which I separated with my wire snips and I can line those up with all of my stamped images and then run them through my die cut machine and then my absolute favorite part is popping them out of the dies. They just look so cute all cut out like that. So here you can see all of the images in the set. They're so cute and fun. And I love that standing monkey because he can hold the banana up like that, which is just so adorable. And then these hanging monkeys, once they're die cut, you can actually hang them from that vine. And I think that is such a cool look. I just love it so much. And then here you can see how you can add that little extra hanging vine piece, which adds a great detail to that vine. 
Now to make my card, I went ahead and cut out a ton more vine pieces and a ton more leaves so that I'll be able to layer all of those. And then I'm gonna stamp a banner from Bannertastic and I'm gonna take this swinging by to say sentiment and curve it into the curve of the banner there. So you'll see I'm kind of sticking it on my block just in the right curve and then I can stamp it right in that banner and then die cut that banner and it looks like the sentiment was custom made for the shape of the banner but we did it just by curving the stamp which is so fun. So now I'm going to trim down a piece of white cardstock to four by five and a quarter and I'm going to take my outside in stitch circle here and line that up kind of up towards the top in the center and run that through my die cut machine and that's going to give me an opening with that beautiful stitch detail all the way around. Now here's my watercolor wishes paper and I'm going to have some green in the background there so I'm just trimming down a piece of that and then also cutting a standard size card at five and a half by four and a quarter. I'm going to take that beautiful green watercolor wishes paper and layer that onto my card base and then I can add a ton of foam dots to that outside in stitch circle there and layer that on top of the green. Now here I've added some foam tape to my vine and then I'm adding some tape to the back of the monkey's tails and I'm going to hook them on to that vine so that they're actually hanging from the vine in the card which is so super cute. And then now I can go ahead and add some foam tape to the monkeys also and layer them in this little circle area. Then I'm going to add all of those extra little leaves and vines that I created with both tape runner and foam tape to create a ton of dimension so things look like they're in the front and in the back. Now this is a recreation of a card by Elise and I fell in love with this card so much that I just had to ask her if I could make it for the video and she said yes so thank you so much Elise, this card is just so cute and it's just so fun, this highlighted area, this is kind of a card layout that you could use for a ton of different cards because the pattern paper kind of popped up there behind that circle I think looks so beautiful. So now I've added enough of my leaves and right now I came to a bad realization and I realized that I never stamped my Hello Friend before. So I decided to try to put it in my Misty and hope that I'd be stamping it okay. And you're not going to believe it, this has never happened before, but it actually stamped okay on the panel that had already been pop dotted. I couldn't believe it. So I was all so excited that I had to do some jazz hands because I couldn't believe it worked out. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, so now I can go ahead and layer that banner and then add some cute little hearts there and I love that pop of pink on the card. And this card is all done, it's so cute. I think it would make anyone smile and the monkeys actually hanging on that vine is just, it's just so cute, I just can't take it. So next up, I decided I just had to get interactive because I needed one of these monkeys to actually swing on the vine. So I have a dotted rectangle die and I'm gonna take um, a little aqua piece of watercolor wishes paper. I'm kind of going through this deck here trying to see which color I like the most. So I'm gonna take the aqua one there and die cut that with my dotted rectangle. Then I'm going to take one of my slide on over circles. This is the medium sized one in the set and I'm gonna line that up towards the top of my card so that my monkey is gonna be able to swing from that circle. And so I'm just laying my dies and my stamps in place so I kinda know how things should look so that I can tape that circle in the right place. Now I only want there to be a semicircle, so I'm hanging the die off of the edge of my platform here so that only part of the circle is going to cut. So once I have that in the perfect place, I'm actually going to tape that paper directly there onto my cutting mat so that it holds perfectly. And then I can put my top cutting mat on top and run it through the die cut machine. And because part of that die is hanging off the edge, it's not going to cut. So you'll see when I take this here on the back that only half of that circle has cut. So this is a really cool way to create this swinging monkey. So now I just need to take my scissors and trim off my anterior track piece here. And then I'm ready to start to decorate. So one of the really cool things about this medium size side on over circle is that this vine is actually the perfect semicircle shape to match it. So I'm gonna take my post-it note tape here and cover up those leaves because I only want the vine part of this. So I'm gonna add that tape on there and then I can go ahead and put it into my ink pad and ink it up. And then once I have it all inked up, I can remove those little post-it pieces and now I've masked off those leaves so that those aren't going to stamp. And then you're gonna see how it's gonna perfectly line up with this slide on over circle. So once I have it stamped onto the circle, obviously that vine doesn't continue all of the way across. So I'm just gonna use a marker to continue it and kind of follow the same pattern of that stamp. 
So there you'll see I'm just going to continue that line all the way to the top. And mine didn't turn out perfectly, but you're never going to tell that it's not perfect because the monkey's going to be swinging over it. So I just trace that line just like that, and then I'm just going to go ahead and color it just like I did that original vine, just dark green on the outsides and light green towards the middle. Now here I have a fancy folded banner and I'm going to curve my sentiment to match it. So this time I've actually taken a piece of acetate plastic and put it over that die cut and curved the stamp on that plastic and that plastic holds it in place. I can pick it up with my block and then stamp it in the perfect curved shape. Then I'm going to go ahead and fold along the embossed score lines that the die created for me to create this really cool fancy 3D banner. Now here I've taken that same dotted rectangle that we cut our main panel with and I've cut some noble for cardstock and I'm stamping thanks bunches in some Versamark sticky ink and then adding some white heat embossing powder to that, heating it up to get a nice bright white sentiment. Now I decided to go back to my slider. I'm kind of jumping back and forth because I had all these different ideas. But now that I'm going to work on my slider, I am going to be using a penny. So I went ahead and traced that penny on that same watercolor wishes paper. And I'm going to stamp my vine right onto that trace circle. And then I'm going to cut that circle right along the inside of that blue pen line. That way, none of the blue shows up. I'm just going to add some quick color so that it matches my other little uh, vine there and then I'm going to add some glue to that penny and then glue that circle right on top. Now I've gone ahead and colored and I'm die cutting here another vine there also stamped on that watercolor wishes paper and this is going to be the one that the monkey hangs off of. So we're going to add some tape to that whole thing there. We're going to layer it on top of the penny so that that way we know where to trim those vine pieces. So I've got it layered on the penny there and now I can go ahead and trim those vine pieces so that everything perfectly lines up. Then after that, I'm actually going to remove that monkey that's on the die cut vine and we're going to just work with that covered penny later. But here you can see how that little slider is going to start to work. Now I've gone ahead and trimmed down some white cardstock to go in the back of my little panel here. And I could not find my foam tape anywhere. So I'm using foam squares this time. And you can see I'm moving that penny around to make sure that none of those foam squares are in the way of that penny moving. And I'm adding double foam squares everywhere because double foam tape is the trick to making sliders work really well. Now I've taken another piece of doubled up foam tape here and I'm layering it on that penny the same size as the track so that it goes right through that track. And then I'm going to take my powder tool here and add powder all around that foam tape to remove any excess stickiness so that that way this penny is going to move really nicely in this track. I've removed all the liner tape and I'm going to line that track right on top of that white piece of cardstock there and then I'm going to take that track that we stamped and colored earlier and just lay that right inside. So you just kind of feed it through and it's really easy to do actually. We'll just line it up right there in the center. Then I'm going to remove the liner tape on the foam tape on the penny and add that monkey finally to the penny. And then I'm adding some extra powder in that track so that that penny moves really well. And then I'll give the monkey his own bananas, of course. And then I'm going to take that thanks bunches we worked on earlier and run it through with a grassy border die that's going to look super cute on the card. And then here I am taking some Let's Polka in the Meadow paper in this really cute yellow stripe to match the bananas. And we're trimming that down to the size of the card base, which is five by three and three quarters. So here I have my card base and I'm going to add that yellow stripe paper to it. And then I can add my whole slider mechanism part on top of that. And then now we can have fun decorating. So we're going to add that cute little banner we stamped earlier with some tape at the end of the two banners and then a little foam tape piece in the middle just so that that three-dimensional banner doesn't collapse. The foam will kind of keep it 3D. And then I'll add some gra uh, tape to that grass sentiment there and layer that on top. And then now we have our really cute swinging card. I just love making interactive cards so much. And it's really fun to take something like the slide on over circles and partially die cut it so that it does something different that it was maybe originally intended to do so that we can have a swinging monkey. So I just had so much fun making these cards with this set. They're just so cute and so adorable. And then of course, I wanted to show you some cards from our design team too. First up, we have a card by Audrey, and I love that green and yellow splattered background she created. It's just so cute. And then this card by Letitia is adorable. I love that she created her own pattern paper using that cute little monkey and his bananas. Then this is a card by Melissa, and I love how she added the vine to our leafy tree backdrop. It's a perfect match. 
And then this card by Shari is so cute. I love the pastel colors that she used. It's a totally different look with these cute little monkeys. Yanea created this really amazing shaker card, and she even put bananas in the shaker so that the bananas in the sequins can move around, which I think is really, really cool. Then Elena created a gorgeous inked background with this sort of reddish orange that I think is just stunning and really makes those monkeys pop. And then this is the card by Elise that inspired me to create it in the video today. It's just so cute with those little monkeys hanging there in their green circle. And then this card by Nicole is awesome because it's a magic slider and this one is so fun to add color to this way. And then this card by Lizzie is a spinner card where the monkey spins in the center, which is so awesome. This card by Lynette is beautiful. I love how she layered those little leaves from Critters in the Jungle that are just gorgeous. And then this card by Melissa with the little sequins in the background is just so sweet. And then I just love how Nicole combined a bunch of the different sentiments in one card. Such a cute idea and I love how that monkey is eating the banana. So I cannot wait to see what you guys do with this exclusive set Love You Bunches, so make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye!